Next question is from Joyful JJ. My dad has started working out again, but he has terrible form. I don't want him to hurt himself, but I don't want to discourage him either. How can I help him? Well, this goes to your point you made earlier in the episode, Sal. Like, you know, get him on mobility, man. This is a- it's, it, but you know, here's this is something I want to add to this though. Okay, Be- just because you're focusing on mobility doesn't mean you're not working out or exercising. Mm-hmm. Ask du- hey, ask Doug that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yesterday I was really uh, straining. Yeah, well, it was a workout. Well, look here. Okay, here's oh, yeah, here, a sweat. here's something that I want to I want to clear up. I actually said this on Becky Campbell's cha- channel yesterday. There's this belief that if you focus on correctional exercise and mobility that you're going to get slower results, that you're not going to get as great a result. So it's either it's either or. Either I want the muscle building and the fat loss and the strength, or I just want to do correctional exercise and mobility. It's actually, that's not true. The truth is you'll get there faster and better by working on mobility, especially when you look at it in longer terms, three months, six months, and a year. If you start your workout properly and you focus on correctional exercise, if you focus on mobility, not only are you gonna are you doing it the better way with less chance of injury and all that stuff, you're gonna get there faster and more effectively anyway. So the only choice is to do it. Th- there is one right way, is my point. It's not mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, I'm giving one up for the other. It's only one that's the right way. And so start with mobility. That is his workout right now for sure. Wow. Yeah, that was it. Done. That's, that's short and sweet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 